squads are out. You smiling? You happy? Happy boy? Yeah. So now I know it's been pretty carnage because we've been looking looking around for a few hours. Took a took a while to get you know a bit of a mission getting the rods out, but the rods are finally out on the first night. What do you think of the place? Now you've had time to bring it all in. Ridiculous venue, like just like all the reeds surrounding the lakes and stuff like that. It's, I mean, earlier on we basically seen the whole stock of the lake just chilling in the in the reeds and stuff like that. But yeah, I think it's going to be tricky. The weather conditions are sort of been really hot, so. I don't know, maybe first night, hopefully we'll bag one tomorrow morning. But get, getting a bit of cloud cover and getting a lot of rain, it should start in the, in the next hour or so, so. Yeah, we're starting to get that cloud now, so it should be good. Pressure drop, rain, you know what that means, carp on the churn, so I'm absolutely buzzing for that. But yeah, it's been it's been a wild day. We managed to see, yeah, I would say most of the stock to be honest, and it's just, oh look, there's another big fish. Oh look, there's another big fish. Yeah. Oh, there's a scaly here. And to be fair, they're, they're spread out, aren't they? Yeah. We're expecting them to be like sort of one side, but they're not, they're, they're spread right around the lake. I'm fishing on this side, Marcus is on this side, so we've got plenty of fish on the, in each side. We even had the drone up and saw lots of fish on the drone as well. Yeah, sort so. of helped with the spots as well. You know, there were spots out there that we didn't quite see from the bank, so, you know, the drone did help a lot there. Yeah, nice, got to got to do some nice pan shots of this this nice valley along here. You've got the, the main lake is just over there, cows in the background, quarry over there, just, you know, beautiful surroundings, nice and peaceful not another angler in sight, that's just what we want. So fingers crossed for the first night, it'll rattle off yeah. and we'll get one of these Isle of Wight beauties, hopefully, nice 30 pounder, that would do, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, be nice. PB for you, maybe <laughs> a PB for me, you never know. Yeah. Stranger things have happened. You probably might hear it's absolutely pissing it down. It's been raining all night and unfortunately I did lose one um, about half an hour ago. Rod ripped off, I was playing it for about five minutes and it felt like a good heavy fish. Unfortunately a hook ball absolutely wounded with that one. Got the rod back out, fingers crossed, the rip off again. I haven't seen too many this morning, so I saw one show over over that rod that did rip off um, earlier this morning, but apart from that, it's been it's been pretty quiet. I saw a lot more fish yesterday when we first got here, when the sun was out, all in the reeds and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up with Marcus once the rain stops and fingers crossed. It's perfect though. The pre lower pressure's coming in, and we're obviously getting a bit of rain, and this is in a perfect bite time. Fingers crossed, there's still time this morning to get another bite. So we've still got two more nights. It's early on in the trip. This lower lake is actually pretty tricky and it's well known for being quite, quite a tricky venue. Although it has done like big hits in the past, it is a pretty tricky venue. And to get a bite on the first morning and to lose it, I was pretty wounded to be honest. I hate a hook ball, especially on a venue like this where there's so many big fish present. Like I say, we'll keep positive. Fingers crossed there's another chance and hopefully we'll get that bite. Once the rain stopped, we were greeted with a stunning rainbow. Was this a sign from the carp gods? Maybe so. With bite time fully passed, things were looking pretty quiet, so we decided to get our rods repositioned and the spots topped up with bait for the night ahead. Evening of day two, so what's been going on except for I'm stuffed, so that's why I'm leaning back because a uh, lovely barbecue we just had. Yeah, just had a bang your barbecue to be fair. A few kebabs. Lamb and chicken. Yeah. Perfectly cooked on your cob. That's it. I must say. Delicible. Chef Marcus, aka the gaffer, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely smashed it and I'm stuffed. I've got a bit more bit more food to have a barbecue tomorrow as well, so yeah, it's looking good. But today it's um not been not been the best, is it? I had a bit oh. of a wounder. Bit going for Billy. He lost one this morning. Bit of a hook pull, but yeah, 
He said, well, he said it was a decent fish as well. Yeah, it, it felt like a good fish. I mean, there was there was a lot of good fish in it, and it it was ripped off. And I was actually I come out here and I was just filming the, the Marcus's bivy in the rain because I thought it looked carpy, and um <laughs> and it, it sort of ripped off. So I ran to the rod, hit it, and it was just slowly taking line and ticking left and sort of back and forth. And it just stayed low and deep. It was on for a good five minutes and. The hook pull is one that it wasn't like an really aggressive hook pull, it sort of just almost elegantly let like it's almost like it just let go of the hook. And mm. I was like, No, I'm absolutely gutted because um, it's quite tricky on this place. And they were they and they uh have spawned as uh, we were in informed as as, as we, we arrived here, yeah. by the lads who were on here. On them, on they said they spawned they were spawning having another go on Monday, yeah. Obviously, what is Saturday now, so they've had a good what six days off, so hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully they get back on the bait, but yeah, it's been hard work. I mean, obviously we've seen virtually the whole stock yesterday, so it kind of lit our eyes up to what was in here, and then it was a very quiet night. So it's a bit of a difficult, difficult uh, scenario because are they going to be on the feed? Are they not? It's, it's a tricky one. But obviously Billy having a bite this morning was uh, good news, but. Yeah, shame we lost it. Yeah, I think obviously any venue you can hit it just right and get a few bites. But you know, just from speaking to a lot of the lads, it is quite a tricky venue. There's only between 40 and 50 carp in here. Most you say it's like 80, 90 percent chance that it's going to be over 30 pounds. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are over 30. So there's obviously good good head of fish in here. I think with the current situation, a, another a bite each would be a right result. I, I can't see us. You never know, they might just switch on, but with the yeah. current conditions, you know, it is that time of year, post-spawning, you know, they're, they're, they're sort of just looking to rest and sunbathe and recoup after the, the big shag up. But yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I'd be, I'd be happy with one apiece. Yeah, I know. think so. That would be a good trip, If we, yeah. you know, maybe that was my chance. I, I keep saying that was my chance, that was my chance, because I can't see too many more of them ar arising. But fingers crossed, we both get a chance. They, they are still fish both in the area. They've slowed down a little bit on the shows. I've uh, seen a couple over towards you um, and a couple over towards me in the morning. And good shows as well. It's not like they've been subtle. Like the owner did say, you know, if, if there is a show, it will just be like a shoulder roll or something like that. But, but they've been lumping out, they? Yeah, we've actually seen them come out of the water and good ones as well. You know, some real nice ones. So, yeah, it's promising. Yeah, so, fingers crossed, I'm going to finish with beer. Probably chat, chat a little bit more, maybe devise some more tactics for tomorrow, see, see what we're doing. And fingers crossed. It does rattle off and we're getting another chance in the morning. Keep on keeping on, as they say. It only takes one bite and we could have a nice 40 pounder in the net. Yeah. All right, cheers. Unfortunately, it was another quiet night, but come first light, we started to see signs of feeding with carp showing over both zones. Just as the carp activity started to slow down, the gaffer's rod bursted into action and he was away. Once the gaffer had slipped back that stunning 33 pound mirror, I decided to top off my left hand spot near the reeds. I'd seen some fizzing and feeding activity earlier that morning. A few crest baits were more than enough. Right, there we go. What a fish, first one for me. It's been an absolute grueler down here at Coombe Lakes. I think the fish have spawned recently and they were in that sort of shut, shut off mode, but we managed to grind on and managed to get the spots right and get on the fish. And finally, I've got a bite. This one was 31.4? 31.8. 31, 31, 31, um, linear. Oh, I'll get it up for you. Absolute beauty. These fish were stunning. Such a nice fish. Beat me up, almost had me in the reeds, but we got it, we got it in. Oh, she wants to go. I'll show you the other side. This one was on there. Give it a nice wee, nice little mix. Little hemp, hemp and snail from the Carp Particles UK. Also had some fresh krill and some fresh bloodworm in there. Nice fish. 
give her a kiss and we'll get her back. The Isle of Wight's been kind to us. They've won a piece. And yeah, hopefully there's time for more. Well, good evening. Unfortunately, it's that time. It's the final evening. It's been an absolute manic day, as you would have seen. We've both had a fish, so still absolutely buzzing our tits off from what we call the carp buzz. Yeah. yeah. So Manic half an hour, really. Yeah, it was mad, wasn't it? Yeah. It was good, though. New PB for you? New PB. You didn't get a bucket because the owner came along and we had to kind of get the fish back pretty quick, so you, you escaped yeah. the bucket until next time. Yeah. There's still a chance of another bucket. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Hopefully they don't get me in the in the bed. <laughs> not, not, too, not, too, not too many people escape buckets around me, but I'll let you have this one. Yeah. To be fair, there was there was a valid reason. Yeah, That's mad. a shame, really. We've got a few photos done, a little bit of filming, but yeah, would have liked to get a few more pics, but it's what it is. You'll see there's he's kind of he's kind of dug out these like photo, these photo bays because he wants all photos to be done in, in the water, which to be fair is probably a good idea. You never know a day ticket, you never know who's going to come and sort of angle in ability and how well they can hold fish. That probably is a good a good idea, but like he said, and like a guy over there who over the main lake he caught one of the biggest fish in there, 46, and dropped spawned out. Yeah, yeah. that was one of the 50s as well. So, you no know, bit of an bit unlucky but I suppose that's how it goes isn't it so yeah dropping it in the water before you can get a proper picture <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> sorry for laughing if, if you watch this but um fair enough it is it's just one of those things I'm sure it's happened to many people I dropped one in France last year last October yeah. a nice mirror I was like oh no I'll never drop a carp I've never done it and like straight away <laughs> it, it. it was out um but it does happen so we got the rods back out everything's in place for the final night we've got to be off by, got to be off by 10 don't we yeah off by 10 so yeah Hopefully, hopefully we're up early because we've got a bite, but yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. I had a bit of rain this, this evening and uh, the weather's looking bang on. A lot of better conditions than the past couple of days anyway, so. Yeah, overcast, it's looking pretty good. And this, the last, well, to be, to be honest, all day really, there's been so many more shows. There's been more active, I've seen mm. more fizzing, I've seen probably 10 shows throughout the day and proper, like I said, proper good shows lumping out. And that's what we want to see, really. And it's been, like I said to Marcus, so there's probably more than double the fish down on his side, so we should be catching more than, more than double the fish. Um, yeah, but we have had a wind change, so yeah. it all blew down your end. Now. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so it's on me now. Yeah. <laughs> the pressure's on me. Oh, they instantly, as soon as the wind changed, they instantly just go, that's it, I'm going down there. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what the cart books will tell you anyway. But we all know that's not yeah, the case. Yeah, but saying that, they have showed down there this evening, haven't they? Yeah, they so. have, so they're, they're spread out. We've had shows, again, both, both over both our areas, so it's looking looking positive. We just need them to drop their heads and have a little munch. I haven't been able to get it on film because it's really difficult to, to film it, but there's so many naturals in this lake. There's just yeah, Daphne, I just... just water beetles just all through the layers as well there's yeah. bugs on the surface mid layers like down and I, I know they're just munching on on all of the um naturals also you brought in some blood worm on, on your um lead we are using blood worm to try and imitate i suppose natural natural feeding harvesting it in areas but yeah zigs are banned on this complex so it is a shame because i mean the little black beetles that are sort of in in the layers literally imitate a bit well say imitate the black phone would imitate the little black bugs so yeah i think that the zigs would be the one in here but it is what it is you know rules are rules so yeah definitely, yeah. definitely. But we've done doing quite well i mean i've had one off a pop-up you've had one off a, a wafter yeah so we're having them off the bottom still so yeah definitely between 40 and 50 fish i think for for the conditions we've done well i, I think there'll be one more chance yeah. fingers crossed and there'll be one more chance and hopefully it's a proper one of the proper big ones and we'll, we'll go we'll we'll leave with smiles on our faces anyway yeah. it's you know lots of lots of good laughs good food nice carp each and yeah a few beers and that and it's been good yeah hopefully just one more and we, we'll next time we'll be talking to you it'll be with a big carp in our hands and yeah that'll be it so it's just about what was it two hours till dark yeah roughly yeah yeah it's stuck. Well, it's getting right. The summer solstice will be coming soon, so it's going to be going that way. Yeah. It might even. When do you know when that is? The summer solstice, the longest day. Uh, where are we now? Well, June now, aren't we? So yeah. it can't be far off. No, it's going to be going to be soon. Yeah. And then uh, it'll be going backwards. So let's enjoy it while we can. Going to chill out, have a final beer, and yeah, get some good sleep. Hopefully, next time I see you, be calm. <laughs> Yeah, again, it was a very quiet night and I 
trip's last few hours flew by. We were soon on the ferry heading back to Southampton and had already started planning a return trip for next spring. We'll be back. Thank you for watching and see you on the bank sometime.